Hello, my dear students and listeners at home. You are welcome to today's teaching online from St. Charles College on Nature. My name is Mrs. Uche Mokwe, your chemistry teacher. The topic for our today's discussion is electrolysis of specific electrolytes. Under this topic, we are going to look at electrolysis of number one, acidified water. Acidified water means dilute tetraoxysulfate cis acid. Number two, brine. Brine is concentrated sodium chloride solution. Number three is copper two tetraoxysulfate cis using different electrodes. And finally, uses and applications of electrolysis. My dear students, before we go into the lesson, I would like us to look at the specific objectives. By the end of this lesson, my dear students, you are expected to, number one, write a balanced equation for the reaction at each electrode for the electrolysis of dilute terosyl sulfate cis acid, brine, and then copper to terosyl sulfate cis. Secondly, you are expected to state any three uses of electrolysis. Finally, you will be able to answer other questions on electrolysis. Before we go into this electrolysis, I would like us to recall what we learned in our previous lesson. In our last lesson, we learned that electrolysis is a chemical decomposition of a ionic compound, a multi in or in a solution when an electric current is passed through them. Electrolysis occurs inside an electrolytic cell. During the electrolysis, the ionic compound will ionize into anions and their cations. The cations move to the cathode, where they gain electron and are re reduced. The anions move to the anode, where they lose the electron and are oxidized. We also learned that there are three factors that determine the type of ion to be deposited at the electrode during the electrolysis. These factors are, number one, position of the ion in the, in the electrochemical series. Number two, concentration of the ion in the electrolyte. And finally, the nature of a electrode use. We learned that if the ion in, is lower in the series, it is, it is discharged in preference to the one up in the series. Also, we learned that uh, concentration of an ion helps to produce the chance of it being uh, deposited. For example, if an ion is highly concentrated, it is to be deposited in preference to the one that it has a lower concentration. Finally, some electrolytes are inert, while some are active. Inert electrolytes, inert electrodes like platinum and the graphite has no effect on the type of ion to be discharged. But an active electrode like mercury normally affects the type of ion to be discharged. Now, let us look at the first, uh, this first specific electrolyte. This time around, we are going to look at electrolysis of acidified water. Acidified water is made by adding a few drops of tetraoxyl sulfate acid to water. The electrolytic cell used is Hochmann's voltameter, and the two electrodes are inert platinum electrodes. My dear students, I would like you to look at the diagram on the screen. The diagram is an electrolytic cell. At the cathode, you will see that we have only hydrogen ion because in the electrolysis of acidified water, hydrogen ion is the only, is the only cation. At the anode, you see tetrosyl surfaces ion and hydroxide the ion. There are the two cations present. And you can see the wire that connects the two electrodes to the battery, which is the source of uh, electric current supply. 
Now, during this electrolysis, the electrolyte is run into the voltammeter while the electrodes are connected to the battery as current flows through the electrolyte. The acid ionizes as, look at the Russian equation on the board on the screen, and the acid we ionize as H2SO4, we ionize into two atoms of hydrogen ion and then one atom of uh, terrestrial surfaces ion. The water into which the acid is dissolved will also ionize into hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. Then at the cathode, the hydrogen ion, which is the only cation present, migrate to the cathode where it gains the electron each to form a neutral hydrogen atom. Because it is only hydrogen ion that is present there, there is no competition. On the Russian equation on the, on the screen, hydrogen ion gains one electron and becomes a hydrogen atom. The process is a reduction. I hope you still remember that the reduction takes place at the cathode. The hydrogen cannot stay as an atom. That's the reason why it has to combine with another hydrogen atom to form hydrogen molecule. At the anode, both SO42 ion and the hydroxide ion migrate to the anode where they compete on which of them is to be discharged. Fortunately, hydroxide ion is preferentially discharged because of its position in the hydrochemical series. Each of the hydroxide ion loses its electron to the anode to become a neutral OH group. The hydroxide ion loses electron and becomes a neutral hydroxide group. The reaction is uh, oxidation. Remember that oxidation takes place at the anode. The OH group cannot stay as an atom. It has to react with another OH group to form water molecule and oxygen atom. The oxygen atom reacts with another oxygen atom to form a molecule of uh, oxygen. Summary. Cathodic half reaction. This explains what happens at the cathode. At the cathode, four hydrogen ion gains four electron and is deposited as two molecules of uh, hydrogen. At the anode, four hydroxide ion loses uh, four electrons and is deposited as two molecules of water and a molecule of uh, oxygen. The overall reaction equation, this is the combination of the cathodic half reaction and the, anodic, and the anodic half reaction. In that reaction, we have that four hydroxide hydrogen ion plus four hydroxide ion gives us two hydrogen, two hydrogen molecule plus two molecules of water and the ox, one molecule of oxygen. The four electron, that is the four E in the cathodic half reaction and the four E are the anodic half reaction. Each of them cancels themselves in order to balance the equation. You can see that in this reaction, that equal that the ratio of hydrogen that is liberated at the at the cathode is two, while that of oxygen is uh, one. Therefore, electrolysis of acidified water produces two hydrogen atoms a day cathode and one oxygen atom a day anode. The second specific electrolyte that we are going to look at is electrolysis of a brine. Brine is concentrated sodium chloride in water, which means you get a large amount of salt and put and dissolve it in a small quantity of water. The electrolytic cell used here is the same as that of acidified water. As current flows through the electrolyte, they ionize as follows. Sodium chloride ionized into sodium ion and chloride ion. The water, which is the solvent, ionized into hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. At the cathode, sodium ion and hydrogen ion moves to the cathode 
where they compete on which of them to be discharged. Eventually, hydrogen ion is discharged preferentially, even though sodium ion is highly concentrated. The reason is because sodium ion is higher apart in the series than the hydrogen ion. Because of that, the effect of concentration is less important. The hydrogen ion gains electron and forms a hydrogen atom. The reaction is also is again reduction. The hydrogen atom rests with another hydrogen atom and forms hydrogen molecule. At the anode, chloride ion and hydroxide ion moves to the anode, where chloride ion is discharged differentially because it is highly concentrated than a hydrogen hydroxide ion. This is because the position of chloride ion and hydroxide ion are very close in the series. Therefore, the effect of concentration is very important here. And the Russian equation, the chloride ion gains loses electron and becomes chlorine atom. The reaction is oxidation. The chlorine atom reacts with another chlorine atom and forms chlorine molecule. Summary. Cathodic half reaction. Two hydrogen ion gains two electron and is deposited as a, a molecule of hydrogen. Anodic half reaction. Two chloride atoms loses the electron and is deposited as a, a chlorine, a chlorine, a chlorine molecule. And overall reaction equation, we have two hydrogen ion reacts with two chloride ion to form a molecule of hydrogen and a molecule of uh, chlorine. You notice that uh, equal volumes of uh, hydrogen and chlorine are produced at the electrode. And then uh, the solution becomes uh, alkaline due to sodium hydroxide that is left because at the end of the reaction, sodium ion and hydroxide ion now combine and form sodium hydroxide, which will be left in the electrolytic cell. If you now test the content of this electrolyte, the byproduct, if you now test it using real litmus paper, it will turn to blue, showing that uh, sodium hydroxide is an alkaline solution. The third specific electrolytes we are going to look at is electrolysis of copper 2 tetrazo surfaces using different electrodes. And we are going to treat this one in two stages. The first one is use of carbon. Carbon is graphite or platinum electrode. In, the, in this electrolysis, using platinum or copper electrode, as the current flows, the electrolyte ionizes as follows. CuSO4 ionizes into copper 2 ion and SO4 2 ion. The water, which is the solvent, also ionized into hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. At the cathode, copper 2 ion and hydrogen ion moves to the cathode, where copper 2 ion is discharged because it's lower in the series. If you look at, if you still remember the electrochemical series, you notice that uh, copper ion is below hydrogen, therefore, it will be discharged in preference to hydrogen. The copper ion now gains two electrons and is deposited as copper metal. The Russian equation, you see copper 2 gains two electrons and is deposited as a copper metal. At the anode, SO42 ion and hydroxide ion migrate to the anode. And hydroxide ion is discharged because it is lower in the series. At the Russian equation, hydroxide ion loses, two loses one electron and is deposited as a, a hydroxide group. The hydroxide group combines with another hydroxide group to form water and the oxygen. The oxygen atom reacts with another oxygen atom to form oxygen molecule. Summary, cathodic half reaction at the cathode, copper 2 gains 4 electron and is discharged as copper metal. Another half reaction, hydroxide ion 
loses four electron and is discharged as two molecules of water and a molecule of uh, oxygen. At the overall reaction equation, copper two ion reacts with air, uh, hydroxide ion to form copper metal, water, and the uh, oxygen atom. Therefore, electrolysis of aqueous copper two phases of phases using carbon or platinum electrode produces copper metal at the cathode as a brown deposit as a brown deposit and oxygen gas at the anode as copper and hydroxide ion are discharged the solution becomes acidic because the hydrogen ion and so42 ion combines to form an acidic solution this is seen by the gradual change in the color of the solution from green to colorless. The second stage of the electrolysis of copper two tetrodotal surfaces involves the use of copper electrode, meaning that the platinum or graphite electrode we use in the first electrolysis will now be removed and replace it with a copper and the copper should be at the anode. In the electrolysis of copper to the surfaces, using copper anode, the ion, the salt ionized as follows. Copper two the total surfaces ionizes into copper two ion and SO42 ion. The water ionizes into hydrogen ion and hydroxide the ion. The cathode is exactly the same thing as what happens in the previous uh, electrolysis. So we are going to concentrate on what happens at the anode because we are going to demonstrate the, what the, the effect of the nature of electrode. Now at the anode, the nature of electrode being copper metal, SO42 ion and hydroxide ion are all present at the anode. Now, there are three possibilities there are three possible reactions that can take place there. Either there is this discharge of a SO42 ion, or there is the discharge of a hydroxide ion, or copper anode dissolved into ion. In all these, the conversion of copper 2 atom to copper ion occurs easily because it requires uh, less energy. Therefore, copper anode dissolved by loss of electron to form copper ion. In the reaction equation, copper in the anode loses two electron and is deposited as a copper ion, which migrates to the cathode, where it is discharged as a copper metal at the cathode. We now see that in the reaction equation, the copper anode, the copper anode loses two electron becomes copper copper ion which moves to the cathode gains two electron and is discharged as copper metal now in this electrolysis you notice that eh, nothing comes out of the anode there is just a a simple conversion of a eh, copper anode to copper ion which moves to the cathode and is discharged as copper metal. Thus, nothing comes out of the anode. Uses and applications of electrolysis. Electrolysis can be applied in the following processes. Number one, refining or purifications of metal. The electrolysis of copper two, the total surfaces, can be used to purify an impure metal. Number two, extraction of metals. To extract a metal means to isolate a metal from its ore. Metals like sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, aluminum can be extracted from their oxide or fused chloride using electrolytic method. Number three, production of uh, gases. Gases like hydrogen gas, oxygen gas and chlorine gas can be produced 
as a byproduct in the electrolysis of uh, fused chlorides or oxides of metals. Number four, electroplate of metal. To electroplate, to electroplate a metal means to coat the interior part of the metal with a superior metal. The reason is to prevent rusting or to improve the thickness of the metal or to improve the attractiveness of the metal. Finally, manufacturing of compounds. Compounds like uh, pillars of a uh, high sodium hydroxide can be produced by electrolysis of a uh, brine. My dear students, having come to the end of today's lesson, I will evaluate you with the following questions. Number one, a concentrated solution of sodium chloride was electrolyzed using graphite electrode. Number A, State the ions present in the electrolyte. B. Which of these ions will be discharged? Are they I, anode, IR, cathode? C. Write a balance equation for the ration at each electrode. D. What substance will be left after the electrolysis? E. State the effect of the substance on litmus paper. 2. A concentrated solution containing hydrogen ion copper 2 ion, hydroxide ion, and chloride ion was electrolyzed using platinum electrode. Which of the ions will be discharged at I, anode, II, cathode, III, state the byproduct of electrolysis. Number three, list three observable changes that take place during the electrolysis of dilute copper 2 tetoso surfaces using platinum electrode. Finally, list any three applications of uh, electrolysis. All questions and assignments to be forwarded to my WhatsApp number 080-36-271397. 080-36-271397. And my dear students, I would like to give you an assignment. Please read up. For our next lesson, Faraday's Laws of Electrolysis. Faraday's Laws of Electrolysis. Thanks for listening and continue to stay safe.